Hello everyone, welcome to The Boot Room. Andy Warren and Stuart Watson here to look ahead to Ipswich Town's long, 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 long trip to Fleetwood for a battle between first and third in League One. It should be an intriguing one. Stuart Watson, your thoughts? My thoughts, Ipswich are giving themselves the best possible opportunity with their preparations. They travelled up yesterday, Thursday. They're doing two overnights. They're training at, I think, Manchester United's old Carrington training ground today as we speak on a Friday. Um, looking forward to it. This could be, we've been said this a few times this season, but could be the toughest test yet. They've come through them all with flying colours so far, but Fleetwood haven't lost at home since the middle of February. Um, Jerry Barton's assembled a good side full of, of young loanies. Um, big game, looking yeah. forward to it. What's your team? It's not happened this season yet. I'm going unchanged for the first time in the league this season, which which will be, I guess, the hybrid fullback formation. But in this one, I I can really see Kolsky stepping out from that central defensive role into midfield quite early in the game. Fleet would play a, a four three three more often than not, and the three strikers, the wide strikers, may just be pushing those Ipswich fullbacks maybe a little bit too far back. So I can see Skew stepping out, giving, moving the side up the field a little bit. So I guess an unchanged team would be Holy in goal, Vincent Younggar at the wing-backs, Wilson, Chambers, Skew's in the hybrid, interchange, flex role, Nolan and Downs, Judge, Norwood, Jackson. What about you? Is that what we're calling it now, the hybrid? It's the hybrid. Yeah. That's what it is. Halfway between wing-backs and a, and a diamond midfield. Yeah. I like it. Um, I've toyed with this one because I think... Wolfenden will go back in, is my personal opinion, because I think he's been playing well. But then you've got to sacrifice someone. And I think it will have to be a midfielder, because I think Cosfleetwood are going to pose a threat, because they play that three up front. I'd stick with three proper centre-backs. No messing about with Scoos there this time. I think it would be Wilson, Chambers, Wolfenden as a back three. Garbutt and Vincent Young have got those wing-backs positions nailed at the moment so someone has to go from midfield Scoos has to start Downs has to start and I'd be inclined to play Nolan over Judge at the moment just because I think that will give it a bit more solidity a bit bit more compact away from home so Judge to drop out Wolfenden in Jackson Norwood up front the Lambert Barton subplot looking forward to this one Lambert's ex-Celtic, uh, Barton's ex-Rangers. A bit. A bit, yeah. Um, Joey's got a bit of a, a history of touchline flare-ups. Mr Lambert <laughs> isn't adverse to one either. Um, that would be interesting. Barton got um, yellow-carded recently after getting a bit irate with the fourth official during a 3-0 um, a win against Shrewsbury. He's in court next week over a, uh, an ABH charge after a, um, a tunnel incident with the, uh, the Barnsley head coach last April. So uh, I'm looking forward to see how that all pans out on the touchlines. The beauty of this is as well, Stu, Tuesday night, Steve Evans is in town, mm. so it's going to be a big few days on the touchline. <laughs> For me, maybe a little bit more nerdy, a bit more boring, but I'm really interested to see how Fleetwood's 4-3-3 works. Ipswich have tried it hasn't always worked the strike has been isolated but it seems like Fleetwood have got it working Paddy Madden scored seven goals from the central position this season in all comps um, Chad Evans actually started there at the weekend so it'll be interesting to see which one of those plays and then Josh Morris has weighed in with four from one of the wings as well I'll be interested to see how that works and what Ipswich do to combat it Prediction time Stu so I recall from August on our wonderful podcast, which you should all be listening to, um, you highlighted this game as perhaps the first defeat for Ipswich Town. That was in August. Yeah. Are you still feeling that way now? Part of me feels like I should commit to that, but I think that was after maybe the second or third game and we were saying, when will Ipswich lose? And I kind of looked, it seemed like miles away into the horizon. And I said this one, I still think it will be a tough game. I don't think Ipswich will win, I'll say that, but 
I might just tone down that prediction to a 1-1 draw and I'd take that now because, you know, first v third, that wouldn't be the end of the world. You? Paul Lambert wouldn't take that now, would he? You asked him yesterday at the press conference, I think you knew the answer before you asked the question, but you asked him, would you take a draw now? He said, no, we're going to win. But I think I'm with you on this one. I think I agree. 1-1 and that's a good result.